What is going on everybody? It's Alex back with another video and today I have a little bit of a guide for the new Plants vs. Zombies game. So if you guys are familiar with the Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare series or if you've just been grinding out Battle for Neighborville, you probably know that when you first start off with a character, it may not be as good as you want it to be, but by leveling through it, getting more abilities, unlocking everything, you can really increase the feasibility of every character, making them significantly better. So you guys know that you want to level up these characters as quick as possible and today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So fortunately there are quite a few ways to level up the characters and I have to say it's not as difficult as a lot of people will think. You just really have to use the character a lot and grind out through them but there are a few ways to really maximize how quickly you're getting through them. So the first thing I want to talk about is probably the most self-explanatory and the easiest but a lot of people may not know that it's a part of the game and that is the XP trainer. So the XP trainer is exactly what it sounds like. When when you are in the zombies headquarters or the plant headquarters, kind of like the main hub area for the game, you can head over right where you're seeing in the video right now to this XP trainer and basically all you have to do is you spend 15,000 credits and then you are rewarded with 2,000 XP for the character that you are using. So be sure to be using the character that you're trying to level up. Now, 2,000 XP is actually a significant amount of XP, especially on some of the early levels, but I have some really highly leveled characters that takes quite a few XP to actually level up, but still, it is free XP. All you have to do is just spend money in... I don't know about you guys, but I have way more money than I need, so I just spend as much as I possibly can. Now, the one main caveat, and the reason that this is not the best method, is simply because you are limited to how many times you can use it per day. I believe you can only use the XP trainer five times per day, which is a total of 10,000 XP towards characters. I checked, and it's not five times for plants, five times for zombies. You can literally only use the XP trainer five times per day, which makes sense. They're kind of, you know, limited limiting how fast you can power level the characters, but it is a little unfortunate. So since you're actually going to have to do something in this game to level up your characters, let's talk about maximizing it, using your time most efficiently. And the first thing that we're going to talk about in terms of maximizing it is heading over right next to the XP trainer to the changing booth. So if you guys haven't messed around with any of the perks or anything of your characters, there's one perk in particular that is absolutely essential if you are trying to maximize leveling up your character. And that is simply the XP boost. There is quite simply a perk that you can equip to any character, all the characters in the game, and it allows you to level up faster. Very self-explanatory, but you earn more XP when you have this enabled. So if you're trying to level up a character, no matter what you're doing, you need to have this perk enabled. It is as simple as that. So now that you've used the XP trainer and boosted your character five times, and you have the level up perk enabled on all the characters that you were trying to level up, the first thing that you want to do is head over to town center. This is the PVE region and this will allow you to level up your character so much without even having to worry about it. What I would recommend you do here is simply do what everybody else would and go through all the quests. There's three main quests and then a final boss. You get a lot of XP rewarded for the quest and you have to kill a lot of zombies throughout it so you are getting crazy amounts of XP by just going through the quote unquote campaign in this PVE region so make sure to do that complete everything you know open every chest do everything you want to see in the way and then you'll be getting tons and tons of XP and since you have the level up perk enabled you're gonna be leveling up significantly quicker so once you've done all three of these objectives basically now is where the grinding starts so this is all kind of like basic setting up but at this point, you probably have a lot of XP, you figured out what characters you like and whatnot, and now you're really just trying to maximize those characters to the fullest, and you're on the grinding path now. Now, it's going to be slightly harder because you don't have any of these campaign missions or anything else to go through, but we do have something where you can get a lot of XP every single time. In fact, I got about 8,000 XP in the gameplay that you guys are watching right now. In about 6 to 7 minutes, you can get about 8,000 XP. It depends on what character you're using. It depends on the streaks you go on. We'll explain everything later. But basically, the premise is you need to be doing these battle chest quests. It's right by the beach. You can see it right here. But go up to the chest and select. I prefer the mission that I'm selecting right here. It's the second mission. But I feel it's the easiest and it rewards the most XP. Basically, all this is is it's kill confirmed from Call of Duty. You kill the opponents and then you get extra points for collecting their tags. The thing is, is that you get incredible amount 
amounts of XP, especially if you are holding on to streaks. As you can see right here, I'm focusing on streaks, and if you look at the bottom left corner, you can see all the XP I'm getting. For every kill, it's something like 31 XP. If you collect their tags, it's 62 additional XP. So just by killing someone and then collecting their tags, there's 90 XP right there. On top of that, and probably the biggest reason why you'll be getting a lot of XP in this mode, is that for going on streaks, every single kill you get in a streak of greater than one, so obviously if you 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, every single kill you get over 200 XP for being on that streak. That adds up incredibly quick. So basically, if you were trying to maximize characters, the best way to do it is obviously go through all the campaign, have the XP trainer going through, you know, make sure you have the level up perk. But grind these battle chest quests because you can get thousands and thousands and thousands of XP in like 5 or 6 minutes. Plus, you get a lot of coins as well. It is by far the best way to level up characters. So guys, it really is as simple as that. I'm going to be looking for some more better ways to level up. Right now, this really does seem the best, so I would be surprised if there's something better, but if there is, make sure to let me know and I will make a video on it. But that does it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for the support. Peace out.